Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make my Peeps Rabbit. A little bit different, um, but we're going to use a single loom and the offset is going to be, the configuration is going to be the offset uh, configuration where columns one and three are the same height, but the second column is a little bit taller. Arrows are going to be facing towards you. If you don't have arrows, the open part of the peg faces towards you. We're going to be double banding. It's going to be a single colour, but you are going to need um, a couple of black bands for the eyes and nose. So, we'll get started. Double banding is two bands placed over the peg at the same time as if it was a single band. Okay, so... This is the head. Push all your bands down. Now before we do the next layer, we want to do our ears. To do that we're going to take a single band, wrap it round, and then take some double bands and do our little ears and we're going to pop these on similarly to how we do arms normally but for the ears we just use three pair of double bands and we're just going to pop them here on his head so another single band slide that onto two double bands and then we do another two pair of double bands and slide that on this side now we're going to do his body and we're going to go down five bands worth for that we come out here to give him a little bit of definition so he doesn't look like one great purple blob because then we'd be making Barney oh god help me two three four And I'm just wondering, yeah, we'll go down five. That's all right. You're not particularly small little peeps. Actually, we have probably gone down too far because I want to go down five here. So one, two, three, four. Whoops. Come back here. And there's my fifth one. So these ones we'll just put on the diagonal here, like that. And they can finish that off for us. Now, the thing that makes this one different from some of the others that are out there is that we're actually going to do another layer on the head and the body to make him a little fatter, a little rounder. So taking two bands again, we're going to do on the head so push your bands down just on these these pins here and then on these pins here we're going to do the same two 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 and two, and then here as well on this side. Oops, 
there push those down. I'm going to have an end cap on this one, take a double band, figure eight it on itself a couple of times and then pop that over this spot here. Okay so now we're going to put our crossover bands on. We go over the top, three pegs in the shape of a triangle and the same for the body. like so. Now we're ready to start with our looming. So we're going to go down past this end cap and take the top two bands. In my case it is these top two on the right and loom them across and then do the same for the left and the same for the middle. Okay, now we have two layers here. We're going to start looming the top layer, not the bottom layer. So dig down past the end cap, past the band that you've just looped and the crossover band and grab the top two bands only. Leave these other two bands here. And you can hear my cat talking. Going to do the same the other side. Pass, pass. Go past the uh, crossover band. Push it out the way with the back of your hook, and just grab the two bands on the top. Okay. Once we've done that, what we need to do is take this bit off the loom and leave it hanging off the side of the loom here. So very gently, using your hook, pull it off the loom, but leave the crossover bands where they're supposed to be. Okay, and then here, we're just going to take this band here and wrap it over like that. So same on the other side, take this bit, wrap it over like that, and then we're just going to take off the bands from the pegs. and leave the crossover bands where they're supposed to be. Okay. Now we're going to do, everybody's charming in today, these bottom two bands and loom them up. Now I quite like to put these two bands under these ones so that they look a bit sort of neater but it really doesn't matter. You can put them on top like that. Dig down, grab the two bottom bands, they're the only two there, pull them up to the shoulder. Once you're at the shoulder, you're going to loom the shoulder to the throat. And then we're going to loom up the middle here And loom this one to the throat as well. So now we're going to loom up the head and now to do that we're going to start this side and we're going to grab these two bands that are on the top oops two bands on the top and loom them to the corresponding peg and on the other side to the corresponding peg. Now we're going to loom this top layer here. By doing that we're going to push our hook, the back side of our hook, past the crossover bands and just grab the two top bands and loom up and the same for this one, loom up. Okay, same on this side, loom up and loom up. Now what we want to do is put our hook under the first layer and we're going to gently ease these top layers 
off the loom so that they're sitting on the outside of the loom but we're going to leave the crossover bands in their correct place so you're just doing it like that and then this one here you're just going to take off like that so we'll do the same the other side this band here goes across putting your thumb here just so you don't lose anything lift this up and over this one has escaped so we'll put him back and you can see now that we've just taken these bits this top layer is now off the loom and all we have there now is the bottom layer and the bottom layer is what we're going to concentrate on now we're going to push our hook, the back of our hook down find those two bands at the base there put our hook under and loom up and the same for the next peg and loom up do the same this side, push them out the way till you're seeing those two bottom bands whoops, loom up, sorry, didn't make to, make, mean to make you feel seasick <laughs> and loom up we'll loom the centre I just got a new um, stand for my phone to try and make it easier for you guys to see what on earth I'm doing but it's a uh, it's going to be fun and games trying to make sure it's not in a spot that I keep hitting loom up loom up and now we'll loom these side bits across the first one and the second one now we need two purple bands we're going to put our hook down the center here so grab your two purple bands, push your hook down the centre and poke it out the side like that. Pop your two purple bands on and you're going to twist this hook so that the back end of it is going to go against those bands as you pull it through and up to the back side of that peg. Reclaim your bands, take the two closest to you up, over and off your hook and pull it tight. Now it's re we're ready to take it off the loom, grabbing the back of a hook because there's quite a lot of bands in some of these spots. Gently ooze the little peep off. Now we're going to need three black bands. Let's stretch our little peep out. Now you can see what we've done here is we've got five columns but we only used a three column loom so we've been tricky. With these bits obviously you can attach it to a uh, keychain holder if you want I quite like to do that but I also like to just discreetly hide them at the back of my loom my little loomed baby just by pulling them and hiding them behind or underneath some of the existing bands that are here and then you can just get a little clip like an S clip to oops <laughs> to completely drop all of your bands off your hook so I'm going to just put one over the other so I'm just dealing with one and I'm going to attach my single band to that now we've got the nose and the eyes to do so we will attach that to that in a minute so there's our bunny now let's get some black bands okay so to do the eyes what we're going to do is take our hook and poke it through the back of the bunny's head in a spot that you think would be good for one eye to, to end start end pull this through to the other side of the head and then going through in a different spot in the head you're going to push it to where you want the other eye to be now I've decided I want it between these two center bands like that 
on the back side put your hook through and we're just going to secure that in place like so and then I personally just pop it on this clip I don't actually clip it into place I'm just using it as a holding spot on the other side so again through the center where those center bands are I'm going the other side I'm going to push my hook through grab a band and pull it through make sure it's through far enough and then looking for the same spot on the other side I'm going to push my hook through grab the other side of the bunny's eye and pull it so that I'm about equal again I'm going to reclaim both of those bands on my hook and slip one over the other I'm going to take this black band off the hook remember I said I didn't clip it into place it's just lying there being held I'm going to slip the one that's closest to me over and off my hook and I'm going to again hold it in spot with the with the clip I'm not actually clipping it in I've still got the nose to do the nose I'm going to poke my hook in grab my black band pull it through until I'm far enough out the other side and then I'm going to go through the next side in the same spot and pull my band through oops I didn't do that very well sorry let's try that one again come on there we go I think I got it enough through grab the end of that band onto the other one as well take the closest one to you slip it off the hook now we've still got this little one here I'm going to take that off the hook and I'm going to again put the one closest to me over and off and then all I have to attach to the other end of this clip is one band so I'm not filling that clip up with so many bands pushing it through the other side I'm going to pretty up the eyes make sure they're not too sunk into the head same for the nose and there we have a little peep now you might want to put your nose a bit closer I think this one is a bit low but it's completely up to you where you put them thanks for listening I'd love to see all your different colors and designs maybe somebody out there can do a rainbow one <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.